I had a question about run out on this chuck. Uh, I guess we had to look at chuck. It's a keyless Chinese made chuck. And so here's my little setup. And here it is in operation. I'll let you read that. I, I call it a little less than two thousandths of an inch. Now that's a five sixteenths hardened and ground steel rod, probably out of an inkjet printer or a laser printer. And measuring so close to the jaw leads me to think that's out of center. But a, a drill is obviously supported only at one end. So we'll have to move the test indicator down to see if the piece is being held parallel to the rotation of the tool or whether it's just off center. So let me stop the drill press and reset up. Now I've moved the indicator about five inches down the steel rod. That looks like about five thousandths, which isn't bad on a drill. I'm putting my fingers on the bottom of the rod. See, the rod bends. So that leads me to believe that perhaps the, the gripping surface is inside the chuck aren't perfect. As far as the eccentricity at the top, that could be in the Jacobs taper. But for drill press work, five thousandths is more than enough. Especially at the bottom of the drill, which is somewhat self-straightening. Now the reason I did that under power is because this drill press is of course belt driven and it's hard to rotate by hand while managing the dial indicator and camera. Plus the fact that was the slowest speed my uh, press can rotate at. That may be as the slowest speed. Actually, the inverter says it's making an output pulse of one hertz. So this is one sixtieth of the across the line speed of this press.